This is how to get Terrarium TV alternative on your iPad. And so this is just an app that is exactly like Terrarium TV. As you can see, it gives you all the movies and TV shows you want. It gives you a search option in the top left corner. We have a menu in the top left corner that allows us to switch between movies, TV shows. This is the actual iPad that I'm going to use for this video. It's a fourth generation iPad. So this is really easy. Basically all we do from the iPad home screen, all we do is go to Safari. So just open the Safari browser. Okay, so there we have Safari. So the first thing we do, this is really the basis of the entire process. All we do is press the address bar there, and then we type in this address here. It's I-O-S-E-M dot U-S. So once again, that's I like Ivan, O like ostrich, S like Steven, E like emulator, M like Mary dot U-S. And so then we just press go. So we have iosem.us, we press go, and then it loaded up this website here. So this is the iOS emulator website that we are gonna use to install Terrarium TV, well, an alternative to Terrarium TV on our iPad and other apps like Kodi and Spotify, tweaked version and stuff like that. So anyway, all we do here is we press the icon on the left under choose an icon to install. So you can see there's two icons there, one with a white background and one with a dark red background. And then we just press the one with the white background. And then after that, it says this website is trying to open settings to show you a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? And we click allow. So we press allow and then all we need to do here is press install. And then we enter our passcode. Okay, so we entered our passcode into the iPad and now it says install profile. We can press cancel or install. We're gonna press install. And this is going to install a profile on your iPad that will allow us to install third-party apps. So it says profile installed, and now we're just gonna press done. Okay, so now at this point, all we do is press the home button on the iPad to go back to the home screen of the iPad. And now we're gonna press the new app that we see there, right up there, it says iOS eMoves. And it might be in a different part of your iPad's home screen, you can see I have multiple home screens there, but it just took the latest, uh, the open spot in my home screen there. So we just opened that app that says iOS eMoves, which is short for iOS emulators. So at this point, it just launches this app here and you can see that it has recent changes, it has popular apps, and under popular apps it has MovieBox, which is the app that we can use for Terrarium TV. It provides the same exact functionality as Terrarium TV pretty much because it lets us stream movies and TV shows. So we can install Movie Box right from this screen right here, but I actually want to show you a different screen that shows you all of the apps that we can install. So at the very, very bottom of the iPad screen, just over there, you can see it says apps. So we press on apps at the very bottom of the screen and then now it's showing us an alphabetical list of all the third-party apps that we can install on the iPad right now from this app, iOS eMoves. So all we need to do is scroll down and you can see the kinds of apps that we can install. There's Happy Chick Emulator, there's a Jailbreak app for um, the newer versions of iOS, there is a Bobby Movie app that allows you to stream movies. And if we just scroll down, eventually we're gonna see Movie Box and there's Kodi. So we can install Kodi and that is Kodi 17.6 Krypton that you see up there. So we can install Kodi using that and then we can install add-ons in Kodi or a Kodi build basically. But anyway, in this tutorial, I'm just going to select Movie Box right up there. So let's just press Movie Box because I tried this and this totally worked extremely well. So it loads up this screen here and all we do is press get in the top right corner of the screen. It says get in red letters, we just press get. 
and then now it's going to say, please wait five seconds, please hit install and enjoy. So it says, open this page in iTunes, question mark. Now we just press open. Okay, so we press open and it says, aair.xyz would like to install MovieBox. Now we just press install. So what it's gonna do is install MovieBox. Let's press the home button on the iPad to get to the home screen of the iPad. And you can see, boom, there's MovieBox, it installed. That was pretty fast. So all we do now is press on the movie box icon that you see at the left side of the screen there. So we're gonna press movie box to launch movie box. And it says that this is an untrusted developer. So this is basically a, uh, just a security warning. It's saying this is a third party app and you need to go into settings to trust this developer. So we just press cancel and then we go to settings. So there's settings at the bottom of my screen. I'm just gonna press the gear icon there, the settings icon. And now what we're gonna do is under settings, you just go to general. So on the left hand side of the settings menu, there's the main menu. We hit general and that brings up the general settings there. And then from there we scroll down and then you see profiles and device management. So we just select profiles and device management and this brings us to the screen where we see the configuration profile and enterprise app. So we already trusted the iOS Emus app and now we just need to trust the Shanghai app to um, enable MovieBox to be installed on our iPad. So let's just press on Shanghai Software Technology Co right there. And then we just press Trust Shanghai Software Technology Co because that's the one that is gonna allow us to use movie box so now we just press trust and then we press trust one last time okay and now we press the home button on the ipad to go back to the home screen and now we're going to launch movie box one more time we're going to press movie box and now it actually launches movie box so there is the movie box home screen and at this point we really just use this as we would terrarium tv on the fire stick or or any other device really so i'm just scrolling up and down and it's much smoother on the actual ipad but in this video it's just um, trans translating the screen to the pc so it's a little jittery but on my actual ipad i can tell you it's extremely smooth so at this point we just use this app like we would any other streaming app we have a search function in the top left corner of the app. In the far top left corner, we just press search and we can search for anything we want to. Let's search for a movie. Let's search for Night of the Living Dead. So I'm just typing in Night of the Living. That should be enough. Then I'm gonna press search. So there we have Night of the Living Dead in the second, second item of the search results. So we're gonna press Night of the Living Dead so that I can just show you how to search for a movie in this Terrarium TV alternative for iPad. And basically now it brings us to a movie where we can select a resolution or a quality of this movie. And uh, what I've found is that these resolutions are actually lower than what you're actually gonna see. So if, if we press watch now when it's selected on 360p, it's actually gonna give us a pretty good resolution movie that is higher than 360p actually so as you can see this is just loading it's going to take a few seconds while it connects to the source but it will connect and then it'll play the movie and then right after it starts to play one of these other resolutions let's press 720p and this is kind of interesting because this movie was only recorded at a very low resolution so this might not actually show us very much but i'm going to press watch now under 720p resolution and just see if that gives us any difference in the image quality. Uh, but anyway, I'm just showing you the functionality. At this point, let's just go back to movies. So I just press back there. And at this point, let's just go to the main menu of movie box for iPad. So in the top left corner, uh, we're just gonna press on the three lines in the movie box app. So we press the three lines in the top of the movie box app and that opens the main menu of movie box. So here you can see we're already on movies. And then just below that we have TV shows. So we I just press TV shows and it brings up all the TV shows that you can watch now. And then we'll just press the three lines in the top left corner to open the main menu one more time. And then other than that, you can see we have news, trailers, favorites, my downloads, new releases, and queue. So 
I just really stick with the top two menu items, movies and TV shows, because that gives me everything that Terrarium TV gives me on the Fire Stick. But this is on the iPad, right? So we can carry the iPad anywhere that we have a Wi-Fi signal and watch movies. So anyway, just another awesome app that we can uh, install on the iPad. And by the way, if you want to mess around with some other apps, you just go press the home button on the iPad and then from there you can open that iOS eMoves app right there. And then from there you can install whatever apps you want. Just don't forget that you press the apps button at the bottom of the screen. So you press apps there. That's highlighted in red just over there. And then once you're in apps, you have that alphabetical list of apps. So you can install Kodi, for example, if you want at this point. You just select Kodi. And then now we just press get, just like we did with Movie Box. That's pretty much it for this Terrarium TV clone for iPad. Um, so anyway, this should also work on the iPhone. I'm going to make a video on how to do this same exact thing on the iPhone. So subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss out on the other versions of this video that show you how to install this type of thing on all of your devices. And what other other and what other other and what other ever. <laughs> and whatever other options we want to